Kia ora, um, I'm Alvi and welcome to the channel. Um, today we are looking at this Schmincke Acreal Academia, I can never pronounce it, um, but the student range of Schmincke um, watercolours. And so it was ooh, originally 115 New Zealand dollars. Um, but my sister got it on sale for $86. So yeah, this is a present for my sister. So um, I'm really excited. It means a lot more than like anything. <laughs> She's just such a sweetheart. And yeah, um, the main reason I was intrigued was because of the shape of the tin. Um, it's quite narrow. Um, and Schwinger has some really interesting tins. Um, and yeah, I thought this would be really interesting to try out. Um, there is some information, oh, information about it on the back if you want to pause and have a look. But the colour selection is, like, I like it except, you know, they didn't give you a warm yellow. I know warm yellow isn't necessary, but it, I do like it because it mixes some really nice greens. Um, but instead you get a white, which I'm not a big fan of, but it is what it is. Oof. Um, it does come with a key ring on the back, or like a finger ring where you can um, hold it if you are painting outside. The usual tin, it's got this where you can like flick it over. Um, I have used it for painting before. Um, it was actually originally a video, but <laughs> um, I ran out of storage on my phone, so here we are. Um, one observation I did make was that it doesn't have the owl, it just has the name Shrinker on it. I miss the owl, I love the owl, but it is what it is, and it's like just an observation more than anything. Um, I'll show you what I did with it last time, um, but we can just play around with it on a spread of paper, really. Um, so yeah, this is the paper I'm using. It is... Um, 300 GSM um, and yeah it's not cotton but it is what it is and should be fun to use this is the page I um, was doing <laughs> um, the swatches are just down the side and yeah the paintings here um, I don't know if you can see it in this light but maybe not in this light I'll change the lighting a bit Mm, you can't really, but some of them are a little shiny. Um, I'm guessing that's just due to like layering too much paint at once instead of like layering over time. Here's an open page. We'll just kind of like play around with some swatches, I think. I think that'll be quite fun. This, this will be for the white paint over here. to go over. That'll be fine. It's kind of just like a doodle page and then, yeah, because I, these are just like, you know, schminker paints, but the um, Academia version, they're really good quality um, and I really like them. It's more the tin that um, intrigued me. Um, because I know these paints are really good. I've, the yellow is already kind of got a bit of green on it, but that's okay. <laughs> that was bound to happen. It is a really nice yellow. Like lots of yeah, no, it's a really nice cool yellow and really pigmented. Like I haven't pre-wet any of these paints, and yeah, a really strong colors.
and it's honestly a little like got like a nice range of colors like a nice quality colors it is a bit expensive though like you could buy some professional grade paints with what you paid for this but I guess for this it's more the tin you're paying for more than anything just because it's quite a unique shape um it does have lots of mixing wells and stuff like I've gotten to the habit of using this as mixing and then using this for putting my wells of water and stuff in but you do have lots of different larger wells on the side to put paint in and mix with um and yeah, no, it's a really nice design they've got for it and stuff. The only thing I'm like a little bit like, uh, yeah, but is the yellow. And that's just because I know yellow is quite like a, like a color that runs out really easily and like you use up quite fast that was my only thinking in that regard is that I use quite a bit of yellow with just mixing for landscapes and stuff and especially if you want to take this set out in like a traveling bag it would um, definitely maybe be wise to either add in yellow in or just switch the colors out for ones you'd prefer but I guess you do that with anything with any of the colors and you do have a yellow ochre which I do prefer just a warm yellow but yellow ochre is also a nice alternative to some it just can it's quite usually quite opaque and um you know opaque colors are a little bit different to work with than transparent And then the black, which I do like having a convenient black, um, just in smaller sets because it's just mixing them is a lot of paint, um, ultramarine and brown for me. They're always the ones I run out of just because of, you know, mixing up the paints and stuff. You'll need a lot of them. So it is nice to have the convenience of already having it there. This is the white um, in the corner here. Sorry if my shadow's in the way there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a lot of paint, but you know, it's not that um, gray, you know, it's just doing its thing. It's not like gouache white or anything it's just there but I know a lot of people can find good uses for white paint and yeah so these are the colors you kind of get with this set um nice range of them and yeah there are the paints oh.